Hey guys, this is The Legend. On this video I'm gonna be talking about the tackle bait, one of the best mechanics in my opinion for Dragon Ball Legends, especially it's pretty useful against uh, high rank players, so you're gonna improve a lot after seeing this, this guide, so let's go with the video. Okay, before starting, you need to know guys, I'm gonna be doing uh, different videos with different mechanics uh, for PvP, not just tackle bait, I'm gonna be doing more, so don't forget to leave a like, uh, comment which other mechanics would you like to see on my next guide, my next PvP guide, don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming content, uh, you're gonna improve a lot after seeing this video. Uh, honestly, tackle bait is one of the best mechanics and it can help a lot, especially on opponents that used to banish all the time or most of the time. So it's gonna be pretty useful. I'm gonna check some clips I have right now recorded on my gallery. So let's go ahead. Alright, this is the first example I'm gonna show you. Basically, here I show you how you can force and banish when you to you and your opponent are not on a combo so let's see how I do it so after taking hits I dash forward and tackle so I force the opponent to banish that then uh, in this situation for example where I am on a 2 against 3 I have a lot of advantage if he already uh, changed one of his units so you can see he forfeit the match let's take another look you can see here he ends the combo, I bait him a bit, then ta dash forward, tackle, and uh, then he baits. He gets bait and he decides to change his unit. Let's check it again with some pose. Yeah, so here, right here, he knows that he does not have vanish, so if I banish him, he's completely done. You need to know that right after the tackle, you can ba instantly banish so if the opponent instantly attacks you you are gonna evade this attack and banish it and you can get him into a combo super easily so he, he did a good move changing his unit but after that you need to be patient and wait for the opponent attack probably he's about to attack uh, a bit forced so you can force the fail of your opponent that's pretty cool mechanic you can, you shouldn't spam this one honestly because you need to know right at, at this point of the tackle animation the opponent can uh, get you into a strike art card. You also need to know that when you are about to hit the opponent, if the opponent tries to strike attack you, you can banish right at that moment when you are about to reach him and you can banish even before ending the, the uh, tackle animation. You need to know that if you banish right on this point here, you can see I'm at uh, medium distance here. And when you get closer, if the opponents attack a bit slowly with the striker art, you can right uh, banish this attack completely. And in this case, uh, he didn't banish. He sorry, he didn't attack. He just banished so I we can see that example on there but I'm sure you've seen that before that after your tackle the opponent gets you into strike card so you need to know in case you are forcing the tackle bait you should try to banish right after your tackle so the opponent probably is gonna try to attack you and you're gonna be able to banish that this is the first example of the tackle bait Alright, knowing that, let's go for the second example of what we can use the tackle bait. So let's check it on there. Just on middle of your combo, you can go and do the tackle bait. Uh, the first one, the first tackle, you can see I do two tackle on a row. The first one, if you are on the combo, the opponent can't banish that. He can do nothing. 
but on the second one, because of timings of the game, the opponent is going to be able to banish that. Uh, here we can see how can we counter the cover change with the tackle bait. Let's take a look here exactly at the moment where I do the second tackle. This is the first, then the second. You can see he swapped the characters. Uh, that's basically because he tried to cover change with Goku. But if you are on this tackle animation, uh, the cover change won't take any effect. So you can right after your tackle bait, uh, get him into a combo with one art. So, for example, if you are facing a movie team with a Bojack on there, let's imagine this uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku is Bojack. So, it will be perfect if you know the opponent is about cover change, do this double tackle and then get him into a combo. So he's gonna waste the cover change, uh, he's not gonna do the animation of the of Bojack cover change, you know, and you can get him into a combo, so he just lose the cover change. That's pretty useful, especially against teams like Movies or Frieza Force that can cut combos with the cover change. Um, it's completely necessary. If you're facing a skilled guy with a Movies team, uh, he's probably abused from the cover change. So with this mechanic, you can easily uh, bait his cover change by dashing forward and tackle right after that and then use a card to get him into a combo. That's pretty useful, especially against teams, as I told you, with cover change. All right, guys, so here we go with the last example. Uh, this is basically a tackle bait inside a combo. So basically here I force the banish, then I am patient until I see the opponent attacks me. Then I instantly banish and I know I get him into a combo easily. This is pretty useful uh, in case you are using units that can do long combos like for example Kefla, uh, Transforming Gotenks, Hit, units that can get a lot of cards easily and do long combos. Basically because you can force your opponent to banish as you can see on there and then get him if, he's, if he tries to attack you, you can get him super easily into a combo. It works pretty pretty good at the start of the fights when the opponent still does not have uh, your playstyle. You can probably bait him easily with that and try to do a long combo right after. As you can see here, I wait until the opponent attacks me, he tries to tap punch me, then I banish and I get him into a long combo. You can see the damage here in 2 Vegito, but you know how hard Kefla hits. So this combo can be really, really powerful right after the tackle bait. So basically, that's the idea, guys. You need to play around uh, your opponents, uh, your opponent units. Try to play uh, when your combo. Another good advice, guys, should be uh, doing the tackle bait right after you end your combo. Basically, because if the opponent, uh, I mean, always after your attacks. Uh, the opponent will have the banish restored so you can uh, force this banish uh, to be waste by with the tackle bait easily doing these mechanics right after ending your combo so you can uh, force that banish and the opponent will need to uh, swap units or do a, an attack where you can easily banish this one so that's the idea guys uh, you need to play around your tricky moves with this uh, try to bait the opponent, uh, not doing, you need to know that if you repeat the same movement all the time during a fight, the opponent probably is gonna catch you all the time, so you need to mix your movements, do not repeat the same ones all the time on the same fight, because the opponent will get used to your playstyle, so I hope you guys find this, this guide helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more, more content, and see you soon, guys.